that's the one positive thing that I'll take out of this whole, you know, for me, I, I reset, I recalibrated, kind of like re realized what was important to me, reprioritized my life. I do consider myself outdoorsy. I, uh, I grew up um, camping with my father. We used to go whitewater rafting. I, I remember at the time it was like, I loved it, but it was always a bit of a hassle to like go away because you don't never want to do anything when you're a kid. And now I'm so grateful because all I want to do is go camping. And so during this pandemic, I've gone, you know, many, many times. And a lot of people like to go glamping where they have like the bathroom and the, the you know, electricity and the whole, f I, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want like the full camping experience. I don't want any, like noise, I don't want, frankly, I don't even want any neighbors. I try to go to as, as remote of an area as possible because otherwise, what's the point? Boy, I'll tell you, there's been a lot of chaos in the world. I've been going nonstop for 20 years. Like, literally, like I just, I haven't stopped. I'm always trying to get the next thing, find the next thing, do the next thing. And I haven't stopped and I've been lucky and I, I've always been working and I never allow myself to relax. I just don't, I don't. The pandemic forced me to not do anything because I didn't have a choice. And at first, I, it was entirely uncomfortable. And I was like, what do I do? I, I don't know what to do. I very quickly acclimated, I, I adjusted. There's obviously been a lot of tra tragedy and a lot of people don't have you know, financial means to just sit back and do nothing. I'm in a fortunate position where I was able to take a break and I, it was so, important for me to do it. I got a dog during the pandemic, so that was big, and I had never had never had a dog before, and I decided let's just, you know, let's foster, and then suddenly, of course, that foster failure, um, the dog's, you know, now a permanent resident. I've now, speaking of outdoors, you know, I mean, every day I've taken up surfing, so now I've suddenly surf. I've now go hiking every day. I do mountain biking. I mean, talk about outdoor. And I, and honestly, I, another big thing is I started a veggie garden. I, I now have a veg, like I'm like kind of becoming like a man of the land. I'm becoming a man of the land. And the other thing that happened during this whole quarantine slash pandemic is my ex co-star from my ex, my previous show, Vampire Diaries, Ian Summerholder and I, we, decided to start our own bourbon. So what? Go in a couple months, you think it's okay to waste a perfectly good bottle of bourbon? So on the show, we drank bourbon. That was like sort of the staple of the series uh, for those who haven't seen it. And so we decided, well, we drink bourbon too. We love bourbon um, and we bonded over bourbons. So let's start a bourbon company. And we came up with the name Brothers Bond, which is quite fitting. Um, both on screen and, and off screen. And um, it's a real labor of love. This is something that we created. This is our baby. We, we, we created this, this mash, this taste, everything, the name, the label. I mean, we did everything. And um, I've never done anything like that before. <laughs> <laughs>